and he just i don't know what it is like he downloads it and then he downloads you and then he just starts pulling you apart like straw this is what happens when a guy plays to stop you from winning and not to win himself. <laughs> the knife. He, he is the final boss at the end of the tower you just don't want to fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like uh, the, the top of the challenge tower right there, but both these guys are phenomenally good. Really, really hard matchup to call as we know that Arn Kratos has been playing pretty seriously. Foxy having a little bit more casual fun with the game, but already has the experience and the track record to show that he's able to play with the best of the best, you know? Yeah, shame on you, Shang Tsung. Oh. How dare you? A little bit of lore right there for the newbies. Uh, let me jump around break. Backwards throw. Now, one thing that's been really interesting here is that in the previous we play uh, Dragon Tournament, Foxy did, used a lot of Sub Zero and casuals, and we actually haven't seen him use much of Sub Zero behind the Oh, doors, but God. Oh. What a call. Just like four dash and into the slide. Why not? Foxy right now has a little bit of a health up, so both players playing really, really patient right now. Norm Kratos is going to establish that back throw, throw him towards the corner as well, and start using these trade skulls to start, you know, controlling the space a little bit. Ooh, oh, gets two. Wise choice to break away from Sub-Zero, of course. This style of Sub-Zero, very unorthodox from what you typically see. There's the Axe, there's the Rising Ice. Oh, the delay in the rain super Ooh. kick, he actually catches out. Gets the break away from Foxy. Foxy now with 163 health left on the board. The Ooh. slide again? I mean, why not? Two what a call. The There's the Ice Axe as mentioned, but the forward two. Oh, no. How much that? Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh, my god. <laughs> he intentionally oh, didn't use god. the Ender just to, just to psych him out a little bit into the 4-2 Fatal Blow. True Foxy oh. fashion. A robbery of that round and a beautiful one at that as he takes the first round on the board. I'm, I'm so disgusted right now. <laughs> Beautifully <laughs> disgusted, might we add. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't expect anything less, uh, less from Foxy. And although he has used his Fatal Blow, he still does have access to uh, that really, really strong slide crushing blow. We, did, uh, we have seen his land too so far. Oh yeah, I mean, Sub probably has like uh, some of the best KBs in the game, right? Mm, very practical. Very, very practical. Right now, Foxy, a little bit of a life deficit. But... Yeah. Smoke shake straight away on reaction to that ice ball. Not going to work out for him. Oh, uh, blocks the 4-2 this there time. Is. Gonna get punished for it. Goes into the Ermac lift. Ice opens up the screen for himself. What? Oh, there's a slide? Yeah, that was so good. Just knowing that wasn't a true situation of Foxy right now answering back. He doesn't have that fatal blow, but he does oh. still have 50-50s. Not committing to the 4-2 Rising Ice this time, but Arn blocking anyway, getting himself around and the corner position. Really, really good stuff from Arn Kratos at the moment. He was, he was actually fishing for that uh, rain crushing blow as well, which uh, is, is something you rarely ever see. I like the idea to just go for it, though. I mean, it's really, really, like, it feels impractical to go for it, really. It's a, it's a pretty ridiculous requirement right now. The uh, the plus frames right there on, Ooh. just staggering in the corner right here. It goes for the back throw. Not going to keep Foxy over there. And oh, oh my just God. walks up to him forward, too. Yep. No shame. No shame. I'm happy about it. Goes into the slide. Goes into the throw. Escape failed. Things looking quite scary. Yeah, now we, you don't want to get opened up over here because you know that you can combo into that back throw KB as well from uh, from Frozen. Oh, that was unfortunate. Just for the down one, back 3-2. Things looking really good for on Kratos at the moment. All right, good oh. block in the 4-2. So the cancel. Oh, the, and the throw, throw tech, tech right there from Foxy. Now Foxy still has that. Oh, oh it's my all on goodness. The four two. He really committed to the 4-2. Arn Kratos maybe got hit by like two of those in that game and then really just started to, you know, shift things around. It just, he's just ready for it this time. We saw Fox, you know, staggering forward too as well, not wanting to commit to the rising ice. But that time, really had to. It was really just a, you know, bite the bullet situation. Yeah, definitely kept an eye out for it. And it did pay off, because that is where Foxy gets most of his damage from, from that forward two rising ice, because there's a lot of damage on the table. It can be run from that, but I'm saying that jump free into Ermac left. No, it's, it, it's also ironic, because we were saying that he doesn't really like using the ninjas much. Kind of uh, cut his, uh, his, his uh, punish potential down a little bit by interrupting with the throw, but getting some damage nonetheless. Mm. Players spacing each other out, but back three. So incredibly good for opening up your opponent. Goes for the slide. 
That's one the board at the moment. Oh, Kratos, you definitely can see oh. the aisle for that board. Did he hit confirm that? No, I don't know. I think he did. I think he was ready to go into the rain super kick anyway, but he just, he just oh. saw the hit connect. That damage. Oh, oh, the duck. Yeah, the beautiful neutral duck right there. That's two slides locked in. That's like two mixes for Foxy at the moment. All right, three, two, All right. and one check. Nice. Pro tech. Oh, that's the one, two. All right, aren't Kratos trying to fight back right now? Oh, there's a lot of patience being shown from Foxy at the moment. Oh, oh, oh blocks the 4-2 yes. again. Arn Kratos mm -hmm. scouting that move out and not letting Foxy get away with it. No, but you got to imagine at this point, it's still like the learning phase for Foxy. He's still like getting comfortable how things are going. But oh. there you <laughs> Arn Kratos, let's rip the rain kick. There it is again. Oh, he loves that move, doesn't he? The wake up one, two right there. Small delay right there from Foxy. Oh, He's going to cash on to big damage. Gets that breakaway as well, and the escape failed. failed. Really good stuff. Both players, forward two goes into the rain kick again. Beautiful damage getting put on the board at the moment. 37%. It's not looking too great for Foxy, but it's on Kratos expecting that backwards throw. Oh, he gets cool again. again. Oh, oh, dude. Looking for a one, two, and Kratos did it down too preemptively. The chin. Arn Kratos looking really strong, just absolutely denying Foxy from 4-2 Rising Ice. Now, I wonder if Foxy is going to be sticking with Sub-Zero. I imagine so. I don't think it's a character problem. I think it's really just Arn Kratos has been able to block that, you know, and is, is able to call out Foxy's uh, offense over here. Mm, looks like we are jumping right back into the fray. Go sort of... Trip again, escape failed. Really good for Foxy right out the gate. Oh, oh, oh that was that home. That surely must have not been intentional right there for Kratos. Mm, that's 25% on the board. Things looking good for Foxy at the moment with the life lead. Down four, that's a forward two. Okay, the jump kick OS into the soul lift, and he's going to cash out in big damage. It forces the breakaway. Foxy with the wake up punish knew that the slide was going to come. Mm. Smart stuff. That's the exact same combo that Arn Kratos has been going for time and time again. So Foxy scoped it out, made adjustments, and knows where to go for the breakaway to punish Arn Kratos accordingly. Yeah, for sure. Now that smoke shake. Really, really good move right there. It's up by the overhead. Oh my goodness. Oh, that oh. combo. A little bit far out. Oh, you can glove. I totally expected that. Yeah, it's just a little bit too late over there. Arn with the plus frames. Foxy just playing patient. Got to keep in mind, Foxy does have access to that backwards uh, throw, uh, crushing blow at the moment still. He, he does, however, Arn knows that, you know, he's ready for it. Taking the throw, or rather even trying to go for the throw in this situation could be very risky, but oh! that reversal fatal! Oh! You know what? Fair enough, I respect it. On Kratos, had a because Foxy has been fishing for like that forward to rising ice a fair, fair bit. And I feel like at this point, on Kratos may be one of those fair few individuals that can react to it right off the gate. It really looked like he was just ready to challenge his approach, you know, using the uh, the fatal blow like a Mortal Kombat uh, X reversal, where he's using it for the armor properties and using it to challenge him and uh, really just worked out well for him. Right now, get, uses the breakaway, Foxy. Nice throw tech right there from on Kratos. Oh! 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 oh. That's the rain kick rip. Let's block the last hit. So only one goes for the throw. Throw out the corner right now. That's what Arn Kratos has really been putting in some damage. Ooh, oh, another one. Yeah, that 4-2 into rain kick doing so much work for him. Arn Kratos cashing out on the damage right here. Foxy with no breakaways in danger territory. Oh, it's damage. Oh, look oh. at the 4-2 fatal blow, but that... Oh, it's not quite dead just yet, but... Arn Kratos takes a free, clean 3-0 over Foxy. You know, I wouldn't expect anything else I, from on because he was, he's very, very good, but looks like Foxy was really determined to stick to his guns right here, and unfortunately, he seems like he paid for it.